<laughs> hey guys, thanks for checking back to Topics Weekly. Uh, once again, I'm your host, Darren, joined by Jonathan, Tom, and we're back again for week six of the college football season. We're going to be looking at our SEC predictions, and once again, the slate is rather empty for this week in SEC football, so we're going to add a couple of games on to the end of the video. Uh, but up first, we have a 11 a.m. game on the SEC Network. 3-1 Utah State versus ranked number five, undefeated LSU. Definitely LSU. Big. LSU. Bye. LSU big. LSU. At least. LSU big. Did you say 14 touchdowns? <laughs> I said that would four. be impressive. <laughs> four to five touchdowns. Okay. I heard 14 touchdowns. <laughs> no. We all agree, LSU. Joe Burrow is on absolute fire. He's got 1,500 yards. It's insane. Already? Yes. It's insane how good yeah. their offense is. This Ridiculous. He's in, he's in the uh, Heisman run, isn't he? Oh. He's kind of in the back of it, but yeah, he's in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to see what happens when LSU Hurts faces off against in. Auburn. Yeah. LSU is like Auburn number one offense, Alabama, number one yeah. defense. Hurts is still in the front runner for. Yes. Yeah, he had a very run. successful. Hurts into a. He had a very successful weekend. Right, up next, a 3 p.m. game on the SEC Network. We have 2-2 two and two Troy versus 3-1 and one Missouri. Missouri. Missouri, definitely. Sorry. Missouri and Troy. Can you pay attention? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking. Troy and Missouri. Um, I'll go for Missouri. Missouri. Once again, we all agree. Definitely. Uh, Kelly Bryant is actually doing very good this year. Yeah. Uh, the beginning of the year was kind of... Lackluster, but he's he's actually doing very well this year. So, all right, up next, that's kind of a weird twist because most of the time Georgia versus Tennessee is on CBS. Normally, yeah, but this year it is a 6 p.m. game on ESPN. You got ranked number three, four and zero Georgia versus one and three Tennessee. Who you got? Georgia. Uh, it's a kind of it's another rival game. You don't really know what you yeah. do, but I mean you know Georgia's gonna win this game. It's yeah. like it's almost impossible for Georgia not to lose this game, but definitely Georgia. Like most of the time whenever it comes to like SEC rivalry games, there's always like that that portion of my mind that I I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Like if the if always. the underdog won. But this year I <laughs> would be shocked. Oh, yes, definitely. I would be shocked. I would be I mean, shocked if Tennessee's won. one and three. They've lost to Georgia State and yeah. somebody else. I can't remember who they lost. BYU. No, they haven't played BYU. Yeah, they, play BYU. Yeah, they, they, play, yeah, they BYU. did play BYU. Yeah. They, they lost to them too. In too. overtime. Yeah. So, definitely Georgia. Yeah. Georgia. <laughs> that, Tennessee's that, that's so bad. <laughs> Tennessee's so bad this year. They are beyond horrible. Remember, this is the good. worst I've seen Tennessee yeah. in a long time. In a long time, time yeah. They were better with so, yeah, we all agree, Georgia for that game. Um, up next, we have one and three Vanderbilt versus two and three Ole Miss. That is a 6:30 p.m. game on the SEC Network. Ole Miss and a close one. And a close one. Yes. Because hmm. Vandy, I mean, they did swing it once, like Denver State or something, but yeah. it's, it's, North it's North Ole Miss though. Yeah. So I get, I give Ole Miss 10 to 14 points. Over them? Yeah. Over I them. put I put Ole Miss about in a three touchdown lead over three them. Three touchdown? Yeah. You you really you really think they're gonna be Vanderbilt that I bad. think they're that I think they're that much better than Vander than Vanderbilt. I mean they're way better than Vanderbilt, but I don't, I don't remember a year when Vanderbilt's ever been good. Well they, they upset Georgia like a couple years ago. Yeah. It, I mean, that was two years ago. Yeah. But but I Ole Miss in a closer one. We we yeah. still all agree. On yeah. this one, Ole Miss. I think Ole Miss beats him. And I was right last week, so he owes me ice cream. Yes, I do. Or at least <laughs> two touchdowns <laughs> and a field goal. Or at least two touchdowns. Yeah, so two seven, touchdowns seven, 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 seventeen to twenty one. Seven. Okay. Uh, the big game this week is two thirty kickoff time on CBS. Undefeated, ranked number seven, Auburn, versus undefeated, ranked number ten, Florida. This, this is, is the, this, this is, is this is the tougher game. one. Of um, all. I gotta go with or or Oregon. <laughs> Oregon. <laughs> Auburn. Auburn. Uh, okay. I'm having trouble saying Auburn there, but Auburn and a close one. I think it's gonna be pretty close. But um, Auburn, they finally they they got a good running game now, and their defense is phenomenal. So the money Auburn. line in this game actually favors Florida. Does it? Yeah. They have Florida yeah, as as a six point yeah. favorite. 
Mm, I, I don't really agree with that, but Auburn because of the running game. And I mean, Bonex has been doing a lot better passing. Yeah, so he has. I'll, g- I'll give the edge to Auburn in a close one. I'm putting the edge to Auburn because I just think Auburn's a more complete team than Auburn. Florida is right yeah. now, especially with Florida's hole in the quarterback position. Yeah. Now well, they're really kind of in a hole. Kyle Trask has stepped in very he's well. Stepped in, but still, it's, he's Felipe Franks. He's the he was the better quarterback. Yeah. But with that hole there, he's did Trask play much last year? I don't know about last year. Or is he a freshman? Well, Felipe I'm Franks sure. has I'm the uh, sure. Felipe Franks has the experience, but and that and Bo Nix is stepping up. Yeah. Bo Nix is learning. It's obvious that he's learning, yeah. and he's doing really well. And I think Auburn's defense is a lot better than Florida. Yes, I will. Yes. That. So that's why I put Auburn over Florida. Yeah. I'm going to go with Auburn. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with y'all. I'm tempted to go for Florida just to go for, like, yeah. you know, the, 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 the opposite of and what y'all are get your ice cream if you Yeah. Know. But, no, I'm going to go with Auburn. <laughs> I'll go with Auburn. I, I, the main reason I go with Auburn is mainly because of their defense and running game. It's the big thing. Yeah. Which is a typical SEC team, but this has been kind of a different year for a couple. Alabama yeah. and LSU, but it's been different. Yeah. Alabama and LSU are usually really, really heavy running. Yeah. And running this year teams, they've been heavy passers. This year they can't run. They're the ball. both. Both of them are a pass first offense. Yeah. Right. Now they are. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's Alabama is stepping up their running game. It's different. They are to it's step different it up. and fun to see though. It is different. Yeah. Yeah. So I I enjoy Alabama with their passing game. Because of the, because of the receivers, you you don't sound biased at all. No, I'm not biased at all. But no, I enjoy watching them. He's, because he's lying. He's an Alabama I, fan. I am an Alabama fan, but I like Alabama receivers. It it is it's always fun to watch, to see a quarterback pick apart a defense. Yeah, it's it's fun to watch. And this is and just a little add-on in the video. Yeah, <laughs> you have you have now done away with all credibility because people are going to think you're biased towards Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> well. To be honest, right now, Alabama is probably the best team in the nation. In my opinion. I would have put Clemson and Alabama. Like, I would have put Clemson over them until recently. Yeah, yeah until, 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 until recently. Week. Yeah, until yeah. last week when they nearly so, lost to North Carolina. So, Well, we're done with the SEC predictions. We're going to do a couple of extra predictions, uh, both of them from the Big Ten. Uh, no. <laughs> 11 a.m. game. Uh, we have undefeated Iowa, who is doing surprisingly good surprisingly. this year. Uh, and 3-1 and one ranked number 19 Michigan, who has been extremely lackluster this year. Yes. So who you got? Iowa, Michigan. That's a hard pick. Both teams, uh, Iowa's is really good this year. Yes. Michigan is lacking in a lot of ways. Michigan Ain't got dominated. Yes. By Wisconsin last week. Absolutely yeah. dominated. Okay, I'm trying to find a favorite. Can't find a favorite, but um anyways. Um I'm 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 gonna give the edge to Michigan this one actually. I'll give the edge to Michigan. By a little bit, not much. Close game. A close game, very close game. Who you got? I think Shea Patterson blows it up. Yes. Who's the favorite in this game? I don't Michigan know. Michigan is the favorite. Michigan? I how assume much? Michigan's the favorite. Um, I can't find the score. I, I can't find the... Um, well, what's like the percentage-wise and whatnot? Um, Michigan 62.1 to Iowa's 37.9. So that's going to be 60-40. 60-40 chance. Mm. I'm going to go with Iowa on this one. Iowa... I th- like you said, Michigan has got a lot of holes in their team right now. So I think... I, and Iowa has been surprisingly good this yeah, year. Yeah, they've been extremely been good. good this they're year. a very complete team. Yeah. That's one thing I look for in a team is if they're very complete. If they ain't got a lot of holes, then that means the other team can't it can't exploit it. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with Iowa on this one. I'm going with Iowa as well. If we're wrong, I owe you two <laughs> ice cream cones. <laughs> <laughs> no, Michigan has I mean, looked, yeah. has looked so bad this year. Yeah, they have looked like a step back from last. Yeah, last year, they they really have not looked that good. Yeah. So their their coach will be in the hot seat this year. If they yeah. If uh, if Michigan loses to Ohio State, if Jim if Jim Harbaugh doesn't get fired, 
What? <laughs> what are you giving us this right now for? Daniel told her to. Oh, okay. Cool. Daniel. We got shakes not sponsored Please by Arby's. Not. <laughs> I wish. Oh, thank you. All right, so me, me and Thomas. Thank you. Me and Thomas choose Iowa, you choose Michigan. I choose Michigan. You choose Michigan? Just to make an even number. Okay. <laughs> That's Ross okay. over there. <laughs> week. Uh, yeah, I'll do it over FaceTime next week. <laughs> uh, up last, we have the ABC primetime game at 6.30. Ohio State undefeated, ranked number four, versus ranked number 25th, 25. 25th four. <laughs> ranked number 25, four and one, Michigan State. Who you got? Justin Fields for the Vibes. Ow. Yes, he, he is has 81 of 116 for just over 1,000 yards and 16 touchdowns. Yeah. The Michigan State quarterback's got 13, over 1,300 yards with 10 touchdowns and an interception. Yeah. But the way Ohio State's been playing, I give Ohio State by two to three touchdowns. Who you got? It saddens me. Saddens you. I am biased in whenever it comes to teams I don't like. Mm -hmm. I don't like Ohio State. I like Michigan State. But this isn't who you like. I know. who you think is going to win the game. But I hate it, but I have to put Ohio State over Michigan State. Mm -hmm. Yep. It saddens me. Yeah. We, uh, we all pick Ohio State. Ohio State is on absolute fire this year. I'm not a Michigan State fan. He just likes them. All right. So that concludes week six of our SEC football predictions. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, if you disagree with any of our picks, feel free to comment. We will not retaliate in any way. Uh, if you do subscribe, <laughs> if you do subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you get notified whenever we upload. And that's it from us. We will see you next time. Bye bye. Peace. Bye. It is a really good.